Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Crooks the Great, and I'm back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 5 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use rhythm striking in UFC 5 to dominate opponents. And we're gonna be doing so with the Wonder Boy, and we're taking on a Shavkat Rachmanov. Now, immediately, you guys are gonna see me start to get on the back foot and really try to get a good feel for the rhythm that this guy wants to be fighting at. Now, in order to utilize good rhythm striking, you have to understand the pace that your opponent wants to be fighting at. So it looks like this guy feels comfortable fighting off at range, and then he goes for a double leg bail right there. So that's, that's what I'm anticipating his game plan is going to be. He's going to try to be fighting us off at, at a, a longer distance, which kind of plays into Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's fight style perfectly. And then if we get him in trouble, he might be he might start to shoot for double leg bails. So there's another double leg takedown. We deny it. We're gonna go ahead and knee him to the head because he did immediately go down to the block. Nice head kick right there. So now that we got a, a good feel for what the pace is gonna be, now we're gonna start to throw off beat strikes and combinations. And that's gonna be the natural progression for those of you guys that wanna use rhythm striking is once you get a good feel for what your opponent is trying to do, then you can start launching off offbeat combinations and strikes. But you got to be careful. Like right there, we got caught with a teep kick and dropped. We don't want to get into too many grappling scenarios with Shavkat unless we absolutely have to. So right here, you see us feinting off the straight. And adding in feints will really kind of mix up the rhythm because then your opponent is kind of they have to be on edge with what you're going to throw so right there we caught him with an uppercut he didn't anticipate us going for the jab hook and that offbeat combination got us that rock right there which means we're winning the first round as long as we don't eat anything heavy coming back so right there we caught him with another beautifully timed head kick off the offbeat combination now we're in a ground and pound scenario right here trying to go for the finish here with wonder boy but this guy does a good job of actually surviving right there with Shavkat. He denies the get up. Now here we also have to stay patient. Because we don't want to get caught in any submissions or get swept. So here we're biding our time. Faking to get that GA. Posturing up and then we're back to our feet. So here this guy's been hurt twice in this round already. So he, you can see he's starting to press forward a little bit more. He's trying to throw heavy damaging shots. So now we got to use the nice lateral movement and popping out pot shot strikes like that, right, like that straight right there. Now you see me comboing off a little bit more. Nice front kick right there by him though. So that kind of lets me know, hey, you know what? He's starting to catch on to the rhythm of the of the strikes that I'm throwing. That's going to be the end of the first round. Now, a very solid and successful first round. And we were able to play with the rhythm a little bit. You see me backing up at the beginning of the first round. Then when I got a good feel for what he was doing, then we started throwing the offbeat strikes and the offbeat combinations. And we were able to hurt him twice and knock him down with that cleanly timed uppercut because he thought we were going down to the body. So heading into this second round, He's going to adjust, so we're going to take the beginning of the second round to kind of just get a feel for what he's what he's, what he's going to do, the adjustments that he's going to try to make. So here we're on the back foot again. Nice body kick, so that looks like that's going to be something that he's going to try to implement. It's going to the body. So right here, we comboed off nicely. Another offbeat combination with a beautiful timed head kick gets us to rock right there in the drop. But there, look, we got too hasty, and now he threw, instead of throwing the teeth kick to the body, he actually threw the front kick to the head. So we got to be aware of that, because if we get timed out with that, it's going to hurt us real, real bad. So right here, we're switching up the pace. We have him up against the fence. We're letting him off, just gaining a little bit of distance, popping right there with a nice offbeat jab straight. Taking our time. Not rushing anything. Just being patient. Right there with nice clean minor step. Breaking the block down. Get the clean stun. Going down to the body. Now we're mixing it up nicely. We're starting to go down to the body with some nice body work. 
but we don't want to overcommit and get caught with an uppercut or a block counter elbow. Because that is something that he was trying to do in the first round. Nice minor step again into a two-piece hurts him. Not rushing. It's pushing him back up against the fence. We miss on the body shot, but that's okay. Starting to apply a little bit of pressure to him. But there's that elbow that I was talking to you guys about that we needed to worry about. Nice knee. Oh, nice clean uppercut at the end of that combo. Caught us while we were ducking down. And this is where it could get a little bit tricky in UFC 5. You can't get too confident when you do hurt your opponent. Because like right there, he dives down for an ankle pick. And because I was flowing in and out of range... I didn't even see it coming. So he gets us down. We're inside control. And this could be very, very bad if he starts getting denials. But luckily, we got the half guard transition. We get into full guard. He's trying to throw some ground and pound strikes at our face. But we're able to block a majority of them. Now we need to get back to our feet. We don't want to be on the ground. So right there, we go with the full guard transition. Just to get a read on what he's trying to do. He blocks the transition right there, but we seen where he was going, so we blocked the transition of his, and we get back to our feet. So see right here, we do have a cut open, but we catch him right there with a clean two-piece as he was trying to load up on the overhand, and we get it done. That's how you use rhythm striking right there, ladies and gentlemen, to get the job done in UFC 5. Now, if you guys do have any questions on anything that I broke down in the video, Please do drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what do you guys think? What are some tools that you guys utilize to get wins in UFC 5 in the striking aspect? But until the next video, guys, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And don't forget to slap that subscribe and like button if you're new to the channel. But until the next video, take it easy, be safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.